Hey, what's up everyone? It's Big Tony here and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video, we'll be building a cute and simple forest cottage packed with details and cozy features making this a house fit for a grandma. Well, or anyone who enjoys secluded forest retreats. Before we start building, here's a list of all the materials you're going to need. So go ahead and pause it right here if you need to. And now here's the layout we're going to be using for this tutorial. So again, pause it if you need to. Now let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is build up oak log pillars on all of the red wool blocks. So we'll build each of these pillars five blocks high. Once you've got all of your log pillars in place, we're going to take some stone bricks for the base. Right here in the center, we're going to place a spruce block because this will be where our door is. On top of the rest of the wall, we're just going to place stone bricks in between all of the logs. Now once you get to this part in the front, we'll place two stone brick blocks on each side and then a stone brick stair on the stone brick blocks. Next we'll take some spruce stairs leading up and then a three spruce plank blocks. Then once you've done that we can go ahead and fill in this whole area with spruce planks. The next thing we're going to do is build our walls out of white wool. So we'll start in the center, this one right here. We're going to have a one wide two tall gap for the door. I'll go ahead and place a dark oak door in there right now. Then we'll just build the white wool up to the level of the logs, which should be four. Next I'm going to place some spruce fences like this, so we'll have two and then one more on top. And I'll take some spruce stairs and put it all around as a little overhang. And then for these three blocks in the middle, I'm going to use spruce top slabs so we have a little bit more height above the door. Next, we'll finish the walls. We're going to build white wool up to the height of the logs, but we'll leave a one by two gap for the window, just like this. And we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. And for the glass, I'm using light gray stained glass panes, which looks really great with Germs and Boys vanilla edits. But if you're on default texture pack, I'd recommend just using regular glass panes. Once you get to this part, it's a little bit different, but again, we're just going to fill in the white wool up to the height of the logs. On this section only, we're going to place three sideways logs on top of the white wool, just like this. And you'll see why we do that later. Alright, next we're going to go on the two sides and build up with spruce planks. So it'll be seven spruce planks like this, then five, then three, and then one. So it should make a little triangle like this. I'll come on this side and repeat the same thing. Seven, five, three, and then one. Now that we have our walls finished, we can start working on the roof. First thing I'm going to do is make sort of supports with upside down spruce stairs. So make sure you're paying attention to the way the stairs are facing. Make sure you're facing this direction when you place it so that we have something like that. And we're going to repeat this all the way around, so facing this way, and three like this, and then one more facing this way. On this part, we're just going to put two upside down stairs going off of these logs. Then when we get to here, we'll repeat the pattern again, so facing this way, and then three more like this, and then one facing this direction. Again, we're going to repeat the pattern here. Then once we have that, we can take some spruce slabs. And we're just going to go all the way across the top of all this wool slash logs. Including here, we're going to go across those slabs. And here I'm going to make a little 1 by 2 window. Just put in some glass there. Again, we're going to continue these slabs all the way around. Except for this part, we're going to skip this part. And then we'll keep going. Once we have the trim in place, we're going to continue with the frame of the roof. So we'll place a stair facing inwards on each side, and then an upside down stair on that. And then another regular stair on top of the upside down stair. And we'll just continue this until they meet in the center. So a stair, and then an upside down stair on it, and then stair. 
And here where they meet in the center, we're going to put an upside down stair facing straight forwards. And there's slab on top. We're going to continue these spruce slabs all the way across the roof until we get to this side. Now on this side, we're going to continue the same frame. And again, I'm going to place a 1x2 window here. And we'll just continue our A-frame roof. And once we have the main frame of our roof done, we're just going to head around to the back. And on this little extension here, we're going to build the same roof, but on a smaller scale. So we're just going up with stairs and upside down stairs until they meet in the center. Where they meet in the center, we're putting an upside down stair and then a line of slabs. We'll go across with this until we get to where it would meet with the stairs. So it should be about five slabs total. Now on the front, before we start filling in our roof, I'm going to make the outline for a dormer. So we're going to start on this block next to the log with a stair facing inwards on each side and then an upside down stair. And we'll just keep going up with stairs and upside down stairs until they meet in the center. Where they meet in the center we're doing the same thing and upside down stair facing forwards. Then a line of slabs until it meets with the stairs. So this should be about three slabs total. Next I'm going to make a wall for this dormer. So we'll take some white wool and just go across with five blocks three blocks on top. Here I'm going to make a little 1x2 window so we'll take some glass. I'm just going to take a spruce slab and put it underneath the glass for now. And one more white wool on top. Now the frame of our roof is finished so we're ready to start filling it in. And to fill it in we're just going to use brick stairs. Bricks can be hard to get in survival so if you don't have enough bricks for this build yet you can just go ahead and use granite stairs instead. And then as you obtain bricks you can mix them in with the granite. Alright, so now that our roof is finished, we just need to add some details to the exterior. So I'm going to start with these windows, I'm going to place a spruce stair underneath the window. And on each side of that spruce stair, I'm going to place one facing inwards. So it should look like that when you're done. Alright, so next I'm going to break out this window here, and we're going to place the chimney there instead. Just so you know, we're on the back side. To start, I'm going to place three stone brick blocks and then a stair. We'll break out that top wall block and replace it with a stone brick. And then we'll place four more stone bricks above the slab on the trim of the roof, campfire on top of it and we'll surround it with spruce trap doors. Next we're going to go around to the front of the house and add some details there. So to start on this little porch in the front, I'm going to place a lantern on one of these fences. Here I'm going to place a flower pot and then a button next to the door as a doorbell. All around the house now I'm going to add bushes. So we'll start right here. And if you want, you can replace one of these leaves with a grass or dirt block. I'm going to place a berry bush on it. Add a little bit more detail, and then we'll just add some berry bushes around the leaves. Next, I'm going to add some vines on the wall for a little bit more greenery. And this is the pattern we're going to use all around the house to decorate it. So I'm going to go on this side too, and we'll add a bush on this side. This one will be a little bit smaller, so we'll just add a few leaves and then some berry bushes around it. And of course some vines on the wall. Next we're going to go around to this side and on these shelves we're going to add some flower pots, a lantern on this one, cake on this one, and I'm going to break out the window. It just kind of looks like an open window where you're letting your cake cool off after baking it. I'm going to add a candle next to the cake. I'm using a sea pickle with this texture pack but in the new update you'll be able to use an actual candle. And then we'll just place some flowers in the flower pots. Before we're done with this side, I'm just going to add some bushes. So we'll use some oak leaves and then some berry bushes. Now this chimney is, I'm also going to add some bushes. Not on the left side of the chimney though, because we're going to add a little storage area there later. So I'm just going to put some vines on the walls. And I'll put some over here too. Now here I'm going to place some more bushes. Some leaves and then some berry bushes. 
some vines around it. Then on this blank wall, we're gonna add a big bush. So we'll add a lot of leaves, and then we'll take a grass block and place it on this one with a berry bush on top. Some more leaves, some more berry bushes, and then we'll cover up this wall with vines. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and build our storage area next to the chimney. So we'll break out a 3x2 area and place it with stone on the ground. Place a stone brick wall and then two spruce fence posts on top. We'll place six campfires as a little shade area. And extinguish them with a shovel. Then we'll take some barrels, we'll place two like this. And we'll place one on top facing upwards. Upwards like this. Then we'll place two chests, a lantern hanging off the campfire. And then we'll just put a couple of vines. Now the last thing I'm going to do for this exterior is add a little pathway. I don't really have anywhere for this path to lead, so I'm just going to build it out a little bit and then it'll just kind of trail off. So I'm breaking out a three wide area. And I'm going to put a couple of spruce planks where the stairs lead down and then the rest will just be coarse dirt. So I'm going to start by just making it three wide, and then we'll kind of trail off here, so we'll mix it in with grass and just put some random coarse dirt. Then to make this path look a little bit more worn down, we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of coarse dirt around the outside of the path, and a couple of grass inside the path too. Now here's something that looks like this. If you had something for this path to lead to, that'll be a lot better. Anyway, before we move inside, I just want to show you a couple of options for texturing. If you have some white concrete powder, you can mix it in with the wool. They look very similar, so it's a very subtle detail, but it does add a little bit of texture. Also, in the stone brick foundation, you can mix in stone with the stone bricks. You can also use cobblestone, cracked stone brick, mossy stone brick, mossy cobblestone, whatever you want. And finally, in our chimney here, you can mix in some cracked stone bricks with the stone bricks. Alright, now we're all finished with the exterior, and we're ready to move inside. Alright, so as you can see, we have a pretty big empty space here. First thing I want to do is make the roof slash floor for the second floor. I'm going to use some spruce top slabs on the top of the wall blocks. So it should be at the same level as the spruce slab trim we did on the outside. Now once we get to this part, we're going to leave a 1x5 space for the stairway, and then we'll just fill in the rest of the floor. So just to be clear, the stairway is on the right side once you enter in through the front door. Once we have our space here, we can start with the stairway. We'll place the first stair directly under the window, and then we'll just go up with our stairs until we get to the floor. Now on the back side of the stairs, we're going to place upside down stairs. There we have our staircase. And up here we're going to add a bedroom and lots of storage. Now we can start with our decorating. First of all I'm going to break these three wool blocks where the chimney is. Place a crafting table, a cauldron for a sink. Now we're going to put three sideways barrels like this with three spruce trap doors. Now here I'm going to break out the stone brick block and place a campfire. And a smoker on top of it. This will just allow some smoke to go through the smoker. Use a stone brick stair there. And then replace this slab on the roof with a spruce stair. Next I'm going to place a lantern on top of this crafting table. And on top of these barrels I'm going to place one spruce trap door here and flip it. And then one here. Uh, right here on this barrel. Flip it. And three barrels on top. Place a cake or something in the middle. Next to it I'm going to place a blast furnace with a detector rail. And I'll place a barrel here with a flower pot on it. Next to that, I'll place a composter. And I'll place two furnaces here. Now I'm going to take a lantern and put it on this outside furnace. Now on the inside furnace, I'm going to make a little cutting board. So we'll start with an item frame, place a carriage or something similar in it, and then an oak wood pressure plate on top. And there it looks like a cutting board with a little carrot on it. Next I'm going to make a little crafting station here, so I'll start with a smithing table, 
Grindstone on top of it. I'm gonna place an armor stand to the left. Put some armor on that. I'll take spru three spruce trap doors next to it. Flip them all. And three trap doors on the other side as well. And then we'll place two spruce trap doors on top. Next, I'm gonna place a jukebox here and an item frame with a music disc on top on the wall. In this area, I'm gonna make a little sitting area, so we'll place three spruce stairs. And an iron bar with a pressure plate on it for the table. And another chair here, so we'll place a spruce stair with spruce signs on either side as armrests. Now, directly above the table, I'm gonna place this slab with a full block so that I can place a lantern on it. Next, I'm gonna place two bookshelves here. And on top, let's go with a flower pot. Now down here, I'm gonna place a crafting table with a chest on it. Here we'll place a barrel with a flower pot on it. Then an anvil and a lantern on it. Next, I'm gonna place a scaffolding on this log here. Then we'll place a flower pot with a fern in it. Then we're gonna go with a one by two painting, so we'll just put some placeholder blocks so we get a one by two. And above the door, I'm gonna place an item frame with a sword in it. Now the last detail on the first floor is a carpet. I'm just gonna go with a three x five checkerboard pattern carpet. I'm using light gray and then my favorite color, which is green. I really like green because the exterior has so much greenery on it, so I feel like it matches, but you can use your favorite color. All right, and that's it for the first floor. Now I'll go up to the attic and do some decorating up here. So first of all, I'm gonna smooth out this roof, so I'm just gonna go with a line of brick blocks on the top. And then we'll go with some brick slabs going across. And here I'm just going to place another full brick block. On this side, more brick slabs. And then we'll fill in these walls with full brick blocks. So we'll leave a space here because we're going to put some chests there. And we'll continue it here. So three there, three on this side. Next we'll just take our chests. First of all, I'm going to fill this in so that it's only two blocks deep. And then we'll just put our chests in here. So it should fit four double chests. And you should be able to open all of them since there's no full blocks above, it should just be slabs. Then we'll place some more double chests over here. So we'll go with a double chest and then one more stacked on top. And two more double chests to the side. And we'll go with two chests here, one on top of the other. And on this side we'll do two more double chests. You should be able to open all of these because it should just be a slab above. Next we're going to wall off a bedroom. So next to these chests we're just going to place spruce trap doors. And we'll stack them up until they reach the roof. Go ahead and flip them. Break this one. Here we're going to put a spruce door instead of a trap door. And we'll continue up to the roof so we'll place one here. Then we'll just break these two slabs on either side and replace them with trap doors. And now back on the other side, we're going to place the lantern above the door. And last detail here is we're just going to add a carpet. I'm using yellow carpet, which looks like hay, which I think looks really good with Jermsey Boy's vanilla edits. And if you're on default, then I'd recommend using brown carpet instead. Now we can go ahead and head into our bedroom. First thing I'm going to do is place a double wide bed for a double wide man. And I'll put two spruce signs on the end. And here I'm going to place three bookshelves, flower pot here, and then a double chest. A lantern above the window, and then I'll put a two by one painting above the bed. And that's it for the bedroom. So one last thing, if you want, you can replace these oak logs with oak wood, where the windows are so that you don't have to see the bare ends of the logs. You may like how it looks, but I think it looks better with oak wood instead. And now we're completely finished with this house. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And according to my calculations, there's a 93.8% chance that you're not subscribed. So if you want to see more tutorials, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.